Today, the players that went undrafted will be drafted. Exclusively, might I add. That's right, today my entire team will consist of undrafted players. This might be the only time I have to actually choose where we're drafting. Specifically because if we don't get the bread man, we don't stand a chance. To be fair, I'm not totally interested in how the team does. I just want to see what they look like on paper. You know, what kind of team can you draft of players that weren't drafted. All right, I'm already sick and tired of hearing the word drafted. Let's go ahead and find out what team we're gonna be using. The Isles, use them recently, I believe, but the game's the game, it's random. Don't tell me what to do, owner. Head coach edit lines, no. Fantasy draft on, player morale, no, and I will turn off CPU trades again this time. I wonder if that setting actually affects the way the AI draft. I would say probably not, but it'd be kind of cool if it did. So we have the New York Islanders here. Please give us a good draft pick. I'm going with number seven. Here we go. The Isles are drafting 26. That will not work. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just run with it anyway. We might be able to put a decent team together. Go ahead, start the draft, and let's see when Panarin actually goes. I'm curious. At what point Artemi Panarin is drafted? What pick would we have needed? 13. Yeah, no. Jesper Bratt went in the sixth round. There's got to be somebody around here that's undrafted. No? Oh, this team's going to be a stinker. There we go. We got Matt Zuccarello with two abilities. And then we have Jonathan Marcheseau, who has no abilities. He is a 86 overall. Our best player is going to be 86. Don't like to see that. Maybe the guys will be able to win on just pure heart. Matt Zuccarello. Boom. 86 overall times two. Georgiev, undrafted goaltender, 87 overall. Now we're cooking. I might as well just take Bobrovsky and have two really good goalies. The way he's been playing in these playoffs, he needs an overall bump. It's been crazy. But you are joining the New York Islanders right now. Tori Krug, interesting. Okay, so that is an 85 overall left defenseman. I feel like this is going to be like an informational video as well. <laughs> Because I had no clue he was undrafted. Until right now. Although I'm pretty sure that I have acknowledged that before. And I just forgot. Anyway. Lovely. Right defenseman. Neil Pionk. 85 overall. Alright. So we're going to be like decent. We're not going to have any superstars for sure. But we're also not going to be terrible. Back to back players here. We got Christopher Tanev and Ayafalo. Okay, well, I'm going with Ayafalo first. I will come back for Tanev, no doubt. So that is another right-handed defenseman, 4.5 million. We didn't grab a massive contract at all, so I think we can afford these for now. I also like the fact that we're already done for goalies. That has been checked off. Yanni Gord, 84 overall. He also has three abilities. So that could help the chemistry on that first line if he plays with the Zook. Two-way forward. We need a sniper. Riley Smith was definitely drafted. Okay, well anyway, let's go. So we got Barabanov, and we also have Trevor Moore. 283 overall players, and their contracts aren't that big considering. So that is massive for us. Huge dub. Let's start off with Moore. And then we will follow it right up with Barabanov. Make that selection. We're already pretty far into this thing. Left defenseman Mark Giordano. So there's our first two pairs, or our top four, if you will. And it's really not that bad. This is one of those teams where we're not going to win by scoring goals. We're going to win by preventing goals and just sort of scoring a little bit here and there. Two undrafted in a row. Nice. Marchman and Connor Sheary. Let's go with Marchman first and I'll come right back for Connor. Mr. Sheary, here you go. There seems to be a lot of left wingers, which is strange, but not a lot of centers. Brendan Dillon would be amazing for that final pair. 6-4, guy's an absolute menu. And he's got four and a half star physical. Just get on my team already. We are down to $16 million of cap space though. So we might need to at least sort of start considering that. Nate Schmidt making six. So yeah, that's probably one I'm going to pass up on for now. Actually, this is good because TVR is a right-handed defenseman. Perfect. There you go. Our defense is completed. We only need four more draft picks. So you know what? The cap space can... Basically be ignored, I feel like. Just as I was saying, there's no undrafted centers. Freddy Goudreau comes in clutch. That will be our second line center, maybe. Maybe third line, we'll find out what happens. Barkley Goudreau's undrafted as well. 81 overall. Another left winger. Doesn't matter to me. You're on the team. Tyler Johnson, 
centerman. So that works out very well. I saw another one here too. Tanev. Okay. So both Tanevs. Interesting. Tyler Johnson joining the team. $5 million. Doesn't matter. Might as well just go pick up Tanev. And we are ready to rumble. Or I could get Hathaway. A grinder. Crap. That actually makes it kind of difficult. Tanev is what? 81 overall? I believe. Two-way forward, left wing, right wing. I believe Hathaway is primarily a right winger, which we kind of need because we have six left wingers. So maybe I'll actually go with him for now. Sure. Let's do it. You know what? If we had Panarin, this team might actually be very solid. Unfortunately, we weren't lucky enough to get top 13 pick, but... We still look all right. It actually kind of reminds me of the expansion teams, the Golden Knights and the Kraken. Everyone thought they were going to be terrible, especially the Golden Knights. And then they went to make the Stanley Cup Finals in their first year. So hopefully this will be another island of misfit toys and they just work hard and get it done. A little bit nervous for this. Edit lines. What do we got? Show me some decent chemistry. Okay. That could have been worse. And we'll do best lines. The plus one moved up to line number three. They don't even want Freddie playing center, apparently. All right, so Zuccarello, Gord, and Marchesso get a zero. I have follow more Marchment. We don't look great, guys. I can't lie to you right now. The entirety of our first line is made up of second line forwards. I wonder what our second line is made up of. Okay, we do have two second liners, but Marchman is a third. Barabanov is listed as a second line, so you know what? I'm going to move him up here. He can play with I have follow and more. Marchment can be... Down here a little bit more. Goudreau actually shoots right, so I'll do that. Another plus one? Just call me GM of the year already. So, like, why is there no undrafted snipers? I think that's a fair question. Before I go to defense, I'm going to show the goalies. So, we got Georgiev, 87, and then Bobrovsky at 86. Here we go. Defense. Oh, a dash two. You don't like to see that. Can we fix it in any way? Probably not. No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. But then we have Pionk on the final pair. Not really down for that. So we'll move him back up. Yeah. I think we're just going to have to leave that dash too. So Pionk and Krug are a zero. Same with Tanev, Giordano, and then these two just despise each other. John Walker's undrafted. He's a two-way defender. So maybe we could bring him in instead of TVR. And there might be some better chemistry there. I genuinely have no idea. I'm making stuff up at this point, but I feel like that is probably why it's a dash two. Two defensive defensemen aren't really going to pair well. Sean Walker and a fourth for TVR. Proposed trade. And they accept it. Boom. Hopefully that helps us a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to do best lines again because I feel like it's going to make... Uh, I might be able to just do this and then fill in all lines. Let's see, but probably not. Substitute in all. Oh, it worked. And the chemistry still sucks. Oh, perfect. Never mind. I think it was just that glitch. We got all zeros. I really don't want to doubt the lads, but making the playoffs with this roster is going to be next to impossible. So I'm going to say we maybe get like 36 wins and we don't qualify. 36 might even be optimistic. If we are doing really bad, then maybe I could try to get Panarin somehow. He's also a playmaker. Yeah, I guess so. It actually makes total sense that we are the Islanders because like I say, we're the Island of Misfit Toys. Undrafted players here. And we're just hoping that we could at least slightly surprise the league. And so far, I gotta say, doing pretty well. Okay, let's go. That 5-2-L to the Leafs is pretty painful. But you know what? We're still floating. Come on, lads. Keep it up. Let's get some more dubs here. 9 nothing loss to the Panthers. Oh, dear. Overtime loss, we take that. It adds up. If you're gonna lose, lose in overtime or a shootout. Doesn't matter to me, I will take either. The Dallas Stars have fired their head coach, Kelly Bentley. Sorry about your luck, lad. Shootout loss against the Golden Knights. We're actually coming up on the trade deadline here, and we are third in the division at the moment. Can we hold that spot? Come on, guys. Dig deep. We're fourth right now, but our division does look kind of bad. So we're gifted an opportunity here. Let's take advantage of it. I turned off CPU trade, so I don't think I should trade either. I also don't really want to because this roster is kind of working. Bobrovsky, no, you're not going anywhere. Gold Caulfield is available. Same with Pelic. But it doesn't matter because I am sticking with the team we have. The post-trade deadline is here. Come on, let's get some wins. Stop with all these L's. Big win over the Pens. 
Big win over the Caps. one nothing. Oh, yeah. I'll take that OT L all day. All day. That's not good. Two losses in a row. We're fifth in the division. Big win. Another big win. Overtime loss. Beautiful. Oh, dear. We're fifth in the division. We need some Ws here. We're back up to fourth. It is a race. Come on. No, guys. Win some hockey games. We didn't qualify. Oh my goodness, we were so close though. Okay, never mind. We weren't that close. 87 points and we didn't qualify. The Rangers had 90 and didn't qualify. So, not as close as I thought. The Tampa Bay Lightning win the President's Trophy this year. They had Horvat, Goudreau, and Kucherov. Flower and Nett, Burns, Lindholm. Yeah, they have a pretty good team. The Rangers and the Bruins get snubbed. The Blues make it in at 18 and the New York Islanders were 20th. Great year still. You know what? I am counting that as a dub. In last place, we have the Edmonton Oilers. Suzuki, Miller, and Caulfield. Vazzy and Nett. I feel like this is the second time in a row where I've drafted and the last place team had Vazzy. What's going on there? I have made the executive decision that before we look at any player stats, I'm just going to send the playoffs so we can do it all in one fell swoop. It will be the Broad Street Bullies taking home the Stanley Cup. The Calder lands in the hands of the Belleville Senators. Very impressed. Very impressed. I've straight up had first lines where nobody is below 88 overall, and they haven't put up this many points. This is crazy. And he went up to 88 overall and became a first line forward. Zuccarello went up to 87. Gord up to 85. Let's go, guys. Even Connor Sheary came up to a 83 overall second line forward with 43 points. The goalies did all right. 32 wins from Georgiev with five shutouts, a 9-10 save percentage. Bobrovsky had a 9-0-9. didn't really play a whole lot of games, but still had a shutout. Flower led the league. A 9-31 save percentage and eight shutouts. Now that is ridiculous. A sub-2 GAA. So he's winning both the Vesna and the Jennings, and... There's no debate. Varlamov down here at a 9.22. Katahat did pretty well with a 9.16. We see just over point a game from Foxy. He had 83. Dougie Hamilton had 75. And then we drop off to a nice amount for Darlene. Over Chicken on the Detroit Red Wings gets the Art Ross. He had 96 points. Who got the Rocket Richard? It is Hatrick Kane with 52. Felino once again has the most fights. Jeannot with 12. Like, is he just fighting himself? I don't understand how he has that many. He's got more than double the next guy. I also just realized that Jeannot was undrafted. I should have tried to find him. Now it is playoff stat time. Jakey O. 918 save percentage. A 921 for Allmark and a 933 for Sam Sonov. Miro was point a game. He had 22 points in 22 games played. Dougie also had 22 games with 19 points. Your Conn Smythe winner, David Pasta. Or Pasternak, if you will. He had a grand total of 26 points and 15 goals. Tolvanen also had 20 points. And then Carter Verhage had 19. Solid. Perron with 18. I feel like he never does that for me. Shane Wright already up to 84 overall. He had 16 points in 22 games. Not a big deal. And it's award time. Stanley Cup. We already know that. We already know. Boom. We didn't know this one, I suppose. Maybe we did. Based on looking at the player stats, you could kind of put two and two together anyway Ovi with the art ross and the heart fox gets the norris no surprise there the lady bing goes to kucherov shane wright with the calder yeah fair enough pasta gets the con smythe flower with the vesna and the jennings joseph gets the masterton stellar's scooping up the jack adams barkov taking the selkie ted Lindsay goes to Ovi and the rocket richard to Hattrick Kane. Here is your playoff tree. The Flyers had it easy up until the Stanley Cup final. I don't mean like the teams were easy, but they made it look easy anyway. They only went to five in the first three, and then the Stanley Cup final was seven. I guess you could make the same argument for the Ducks. They had the same amount of losses coming in to the Stanley Cup final. They were both 12 and three, which is wild. And then they met up in the Stanley Cup finals and the Flyers beat them out in seven. Well, thank you for watching that one. I thought we had a chance at making the playoffs there near the end. Although, when we first started, I was under the impression there was no way. So, you know what? The fact that we even had a shot is a huge dub. Stats show that 1,001% of you watching this are not subscribed. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> I will see you soon.